This video will give you a basic introduction to electric current. For in-depth treatment of the mathematics, and problem solving, please refer to your textbook. Current means flow. Specifically, electric current is the rate of flow of charge over time. Current is treated as a scalar quantity with the units of ampere. Current is not necessarily constant, but can be time variant. For such problems, you will need the solutions from the differential treatment from calculus. Historically, current has been defined as the rate of flow of charge in the direction of the electric field. Because the electric field points towards the direction that positive charges accelerate, current has been modeled as the flow of positive charges along a conductor. In modern physics, we know that in solids, the positive charge is found in the atomic nucleus. In solids, the atomic nuclei do not move. Rather, it is electrons that carry negative charge that are able to move. Not all electrons of an atom are available to freely flow in a current. Only the outermost electrons of certain types of elements are able to flow freely amongst other atoms provided the electrostatic attraction towards the nuclei of the surrounding atoms is even. The availability of these free electrons will depend on the exact compositional combination of the material. The free electrons do not necessarily have to have a velocity vector directly along the current line. As they move around the conductor, they encounter many other particles to interact with. It is only on average that they drift along a line opposite that of the current. Remember the definition of 
the direction of current was the net rate of positive charge flow. This is mathematically equivalent to the opposite of the net negative charge flow by electrons that is actually taking place. The average velocity of the charge moving through the conductor is referred to as its drift velocity. This will depend both on the strength of the electric field as well as the number of interactions it encounters. Because the flow depends on number of interactions as well, we define current density as current per cross-sectional area along the flow. Current density is treated as a vector and its direction is along the electric field along the conductor. This vector treatment will not be covered here, but will be especially important in later topics involving magnetic fields and electrical induction. As was hinted at, current is impeded by the properties of the material that result in frequent interactions that impede the movement of the electrons. This overall characteristic of the conductor is summed up in the quantity of resistivity. In summary, the current is greater for higher magnitudes of the electric field, larger cross-sectional area, but is lowered by resistivity.